Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you're having a blessed day in the Lord again. Um, you see the title, Thus saith the Lord, the spirit of lust is overtaking the people of God. Let me tell you something. The spirit of lust is what they're using. Um, that's why you see more people running around naked. You see it on television. That That is the spirit that actually works more also in homosexuality, um, in the spirit of greed, gluttony, um, for more money. So the spirit of lust is actually... It is the core of every spirit that is working today. How do you combat this apostle? You have to get to where you surrender everything to God. God, I don't want to be like this. And I'm talking about the, that's why they drive in the homosexuality spirit. That's why they driving, um, you know, people being naked on TV. Y'all don't understand what's happening. Sex sells. Why do you think that pedophiles are raping these kids? So he is actually, the Antichrist is pushing the agenda of lust. Lust is the core to every spirit that works against God. We're talking about homosexuality, sex, incest, molestation. Don't y'all understand? That is the root to everything. So how do you get over that? You have to watch what comes into your spirit. Y'all got to stop watching. Let me tell you something. They've been training us. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. They've been conditioning us. They can be conditioning us to accept sex, to accept murder. Y'all better understand what I'm saying. Didn't they start having um, on television where more people were getting killed? People are comfortable to where they're filming people die. Y'all don't understand. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. They're desynthesizing you to where you don't care about human life. That you want, you want murder. You want sex. You want incest. You want, but y'all don't hear what I'm saying. How do we combat this with the spirit of God? We have to pray more than anything in this world, fast more. But God said, watch the spirit of lust. That's the spirit that's working heavily in this hour. Watch what you hear. Watch what you say. Watch what you take into your spirit. Watch what you look at on TV. Watch it. Hallelujah. The enemy is trying to overtake us in this hour. Even with greed of money. You know, some people, oh, I'm blessed. If you got to go against the oracles of God, the order of God to get anything that you have, then that's sin. God is not going to tell you to do that. The devil is a lie. Some of these shows, all these reality shows, God did not tell them people to go on there and act a fool, call each other names for some money. The devil is a lie. God did not tell any actors in Hollywood to kiss another woman or another man. The devil is a lie. People are doing anything for money, God says. God says, be careful of what you do. Be careful of what you say. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. The enemy is trying to taint your spirit at all costs. He's not playing, hallelujah. And he knows exactly what you like. Don't play with me. He's been watching you your whole life. Some of you wondering why, why do I keep attracting this type of man or this type of woman or why is this keep happening? You have to ask yourself what's inside of you. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm transparent on purpose. When I was like first walking as a Christian, um, men used to still treat me like I was in the world. And at first I was like, okay, God, what's going on? And God said, Deanna, what's inside of you? I still had lust in me. I still had that flirtiness. I still had that seduction. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all ain't ready for me up in here. Whatever you have in you, that's what it attracts to you. Oh, come on, somebody. You may not like me, but it's the truth. Now I notice they just look at me like I'm crazy. I'd rather that than the way they used to do it. Y'all ain't ready for me. Whatever spirit is in you, it will attract the counter spirit or the same spirit. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying, huh? You just have to be honest with yourself. If anything is inside of you, you have, you're supposed to pray that prayer. Father God, is there anything inside of me? Father God, I ask you to let it be a two-edged fire. Burn up everything, God, that is not of you. And everything that is of you, Father God, I pray that the fire is even more promoted, Father God. The fire of God, the power of God, the blessings of God, the anointing of God. You got to say that prayer. Anoint your hand and place your hand over your belly. And say, God, burn up everything that is not of you in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name to the root of that thing. That's how you, have, you, can, have, you can deliver yourself because the power of God is real. Y'all running around the world trying to get somebody to lay hands on you. And I'm not saying that don't work because it do. But you also have the power, but you have to be purified. God says prayer of a righteous and much. If you ain't right, then you right. You sure can't deliver yourself. I'm just being real. I'm not trying to be ugly. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah.
But I'm telling you how to get saved. I'm telling you how to stay saved. And stop touching the unclean thing. When people come to you with gossip, y'all need to stop stop that right there. Look, you know what? Let's pray for them. Quit listening. Quit letting people dump all that garbage in your spirit. Hallelujah. This stuff real. My God, my God. We better learn. We better learn. Because guess what? This is how they're coming. The enemy is coming and he is looking for a way in. And when he find that way in, he wreak havoc, said the Lord. Hallelujah. And then some of you, you get trapped by loneliness. You know, yes, it's true. God says it is not good for man to be alone. But honey, I'd rather be in my house with a, a goldfish and a puppy than with somebody that's trying to have sex with me before time. I'm just being real with y'all. Some of you are so lonely until you are compromising your walk with God. If that man or that woman love you, they're supposed to wait. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God must be first in this hour. God must be first in this hour. God must be first in this hour. The enemy is trying to get you to compromise your position in God. That's why he'll attack your finances. Because then some of y'all say, well, I'm going to got to do what I got to do. Wait on God. I, I'm a witness to that. No, it's not going to come when you want it sometime. I ain't going to lie. And you may have to go through some things, but wait on God. God, don't you understand when you're going through that, that's a test. God want to see if you're going to run to the enemy. And to be honest with you, most people do. I got to do what I got to do. I got to get me. All the while, you don't know what God had around the corner for you. It probably was bigger and better, and you ain't had to sell your soul to do it. And you ain't had to compromise. Come on, somebody, I'm talking up in here. Hallelujah. Stop compromising, because the enemy is a liar. How you going to make a deal with the devil when he's the father of lies? Meaning that you he'll give you some, but you don't know what he's taking in return. Your peace. Your this, your that. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This stuff is real. We got to come back to the oracles of God. The world ain't overtaken the church to where people don't want God like that no more. People after a bag of money, some honey, some funny. Y'all know what I'm saying. Hallelujah. I know it's true. And you wonder why America is in trouble. Y'all wonder why the church is in trouble. Excuse me, because we're doing everything what we're supposed to do. We have to have some discipline. There it go. There it go right there. I've had to discipline myself. I wasn't always this way. So I know everything that you're going through because I went through it too. I know what it's like to have to be in want. I know what it's like to be lonely. I know what it's like to, and you got to pray through that stuff because you had an enemy hit you in your head and try to make you do something that's against God. And you really don't want to, but you feel like you have no choice. That's because you don't trust God. God said they love me, but they don't trust me. You got to trust God. And yes, it's hard sometimes when you, when you start when you're first starting, because it don't look like it. Because you're going by what you see. But you got to walk by faith, said God. The enemy is after your faith. And in this hour, you got to increase your faith like never before. Oh, it will be a challenge. I promise you that. But God has never lied. And he will not lie to you. I'm telling you the truth. Hallelujah. So just be strong. And, and, and that's not easy either. Well, Apostle, how do I do that? You got to get in that word, that word, that word. The enemy have you so busy working and doing everything else and you're trying to do it in your flesh and it will frustrate you and that will last for a minute until you get wore out. Let me tell you how you get strong. You got to get in that word. You got to pray. You got to fast. The enemy hit you every place and, and, and you'll be like, well, God was wrong. God can only do so much. And yeah, I'm saying it like that because God says, I give you dominion over the earth. That means you got to do your part. People don't want to do their part. You got to fast. You got to pray. You're doing everything but that. And then you wonder why. Now in the flesh, you got it going on, but your spirit tore up, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. You have to have a balance in life. Just like you going to that job, just like you you dating that man or that woman or whatever the case may be that you do with all your heart. You got to stay safe with all your heart. This is real like that. Just as bad as you want to live, you got to want to live for Christ just as, just as bad. I'm telling you the truth. And the enemy, I promise you, he would challenge you in every area of your life. You're not saved. Well, let me see if you really saved. Let me, God, let me test them. Hallelujah. And sometimes we'll fail the test. Get back up. Get back up. Get back up. Hallelujah. Don't let the devil overtake you. Because he's a sucker with it. Once you weak, that's when he really coming. Oh, come on, somebody. I bet you somebody can attest to that up in here. 
He coming when you weak, honey. He didn't come when you strong, strong, strong. He going to still come. Now, don't get it twisted. But he comes harder when you're weak because he feels like you are in a position to be overtaken. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, stay prayed up. We in Sodom and Gomorrah. We in biblical days all over again. Y'all don't want to touch y'all, but you better open your eyes. The devil is trying to steal, kill, and destroy, and he's not playing. He knows he has but a short time. So his mission is to take us to hell with him. And I ain't going. Oh, come on, somebody. Somebody write that in the comments. I ain't going. That's right. We ain't got to be political correct or grammar correct. I ain't going. I ain't going. Y'all ain't ready for me up in here. So God bless you. God keep you. And be strong in this hour. But that lust, watch for that lust. God says that's the most powerful one. Because lust is the root to everything. Lust of the eyes. Lust of the flesh. Come on, somebody. Protect your, your gates. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. That's right. I like that, Miss Donna. She said, don't entertain the thoughts of lust. Because once you entertain it, that's a wrap. The, the enemy loves to dangle that carrot. And he's been watching you. Y'all want to know why? Y'all ever notice when you're going through just what you need to come along, what you think anyway. And then it's not even that. You, you, you know how they say the grass is greener on the other side? And then you find out it ain't even grass, it's turf. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. I love you all in Christ. That's why I do what I do. I, I'm, I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm trying to build you up. But I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm mandated. And people don't understand. As a matter of fact, people don't even like me. They'll try to hurt me because they, they have. Even friends, because I tell you the truth. I, I feel like Paul, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Well, so be it. I say, so be it. Because I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm worried about your soul. I don't care about you liking me. Hallelujah. This stuff real. All right now. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.